Welcome to our next project, which is a crawler. A lot of times we might need to crawl the web for specific information and data gathering. We can do it with PHP easily. We don't even need any extra package. We can do it in two steps. The very first step is to send a request and get the response. And then the second step is to parse the response and get the data we need. And for our project, we are going to get the data from IMDB's box office and show the data to our user. If we go to IMDB slash chart slash box office, you can see that here is a list of top 10 movies and we have a title, we have the number of weeks and weekend and gross. All we need to do for now is to get this date so we would know which date, which movies were on top and then get the title. If you want in your solution, you can get other data as well. But for our project, we want to get this date and this list of movies. So like all the other projects in this course, pause the video, try to do it yourself and then come back and see my solution. Okay, now let's start writing the code for our project. The very first step to send the request and get the data. How can we do that? We can do it with curl. We want to send a curl request to IMTV's box office page. So let's just start by running curl in it. Perfect. And then we want to Make sure that we are sending a GET request because in our browser we sent a GET request to the URL of IMDB and we got the response. So request type is GET. Then we want to store the URL so we could pass it to our curl. Let me find it from here. It was imdb.com chart box office. So let's go back to our code and paste it here. This is the URL we want to get. Now let's set the options for our curl. Curl set option array. Perfect. The very first item is the curl object and the second item is the array of options. Let me add the semicolon here before I forget. Well, the very first option is the URL curl URL. Okay. And the URL was our URL. Then we want to set request type, care request, care custom request, yes, equals to request type, perfect. Then we want to set a timeout, so if there was some issues in uh, IMDB server and they couldn't send back a response in like 30 seconds, we would close the connection. Care timeout would be 30 seconds, okay. and. We don't need to pass any headers. We don't need to pass any post fields. And the HTTP version by default is 101. These options are enough. I don't need to pass any other information. The default would work for me. So now let's execute this curl and get the response and store it in a variable response. Curl execute. The object would be curl. And then close the connection. Curl close object and perfect now we can work with our response because our response is going to be a HTML let's first echo it to see if we got it or not response and let's run the code PHP index.php perfect we got the whole HTML page amazing now let me clean this is a lot of data now we can parse the data. We got the response. Now we want to parse the data. Do you remember when we talked about XML and we uh, parse the data with DOM document? DOM document is also able to help us parse HTML data. So let's build a DOM document. DOM equals to new DOM document. Yes. Okay. And then let's load the HTML to this. With XML, we load XML, but with HTML, we load HTML. Load HTML. Okay, perfect. And we pass the response that we received. Perfect. Now it's going to parse it. Now we want to get a specific data. Let's go back to IMDB's page. Now, how can I get this title and everything 
if I inspect it, for example, I get this title column. Each row has a title column. I want to get that. If I go to copy, I can get XPath. What is XPath? XPath is something like this. First, it's going to find the thing that has box office. Then it's going to find table. Then it's going to find body of that table, the first row and the second column. Great. We want to be able to use that in our DOM document and parse the data with XPath because it's very powerful. So let's create that XPath in our code. PHP also has a DOM XPath. DOM XPath. We need to have that in order to be able to get the data with XPath. So we are going to path the DOM we had. And since this is a class, we need to create one and XPath equals to this. We are almost done with this part. Now, if I run my code, I'm going to get a lot of warnings from PHP. There are warning, not errors, and it's not very important for us. So we can tell PHP to not show us the warnings. How can we do that? All I have to do is to run this function, libxml use internal errors to true before loading the DOM. Now PHP is going to know that, hey, I, I'm not interested in your warnings right now. Do not show them to me. So now let's continue with our project. The next thing that we need to do is to use this XPath and find the things that we need with this XPath and show them in our code. So how can I do that? Let's go to our Chrome. The very first thing I want to get is the title. So I want to find this here with inspect element. I can do it easily. Then I'm going to copy the XPath. Perfect. And let's go back to the code. The XPath was something like this. Great. It's going to find the ID and then the H4. Okay. How can we do that? We can do it by XPath query. Let's run XPath query and then inside this query we can pass the path that we have copied from there and let me add that here okay perfect now it's going to query the document and get this path and show me the result how can I get that let's first store it in a variable we can title node equals to this and now this query will return a list of objects. I can look through it before each, or I could get a specific item with the function item and then pass the item I want. So in order to get the first item, I can say, okay, first item would be weekend title node item zero. The index zero is the first item. Perfect. Now the first item from this list, I have it stored here. How can I get its value? I can do it with first item node value. This I expect to be the same as this. So let's see if we could get it and parse the data properly. Let's go back to our code. Perfect. I want to echo that echo this and let's run the code php index.php uh, okay now it's telling me that property node value of non-object in line 84 line 84 is this which means it could not get this and could not query this so let's see what's the problem when i ran the code i noticed that there is it's showing me the response i received from imdb but as you can see, I have not echoed it here. It took me a while to find why it's happening. So I'm going to share that with you as well. In curl request, there is this option curl opt return uh, transfer, which by default is, I think, false, but we have to specify to true. So right now it should solve my problem and not echo everything here. And if it's not going to echo everything here, it's going to store everything. And when it stores everything here, we can parse the data perfectly fine. So let's see. 
if I run it, as you can see, it did not echo the whole stream of data and it stored them in this response. And then I could pass the value and get this response and get the first item node value, which was our title, weekend of May. And it worked perfectly fine. So the problem was just this option. We could specify it through uh, the curl set option array. I thought the default was true, but it wasn't. So we had to do it manually and specify it here. Perfect. Now that we got the title of the table, let's store it in a variable title equals to this. And later we are going to echo that. Now let's go back to get the data from this table, each title of the movie. How can we do that? We can use query again, but what should be the X path? The X path should be, let me get one of these. Okay. If I copy the X path for this column, it's giving me this. It's going through this ID, box office, table, T body, and the second column of the second row. I could write a for loop and get the data from this. So for example, I would be doing something like this. This is one solution that I could write X path query and this would be my query and I would go through four I equals to one because I want to start from one rather than zero and I is less than equal to ten and I plus plus and inside this X path I want to query that I want to pass i here i want to pass the i value here so it would be tr1 tr2 tr3 tr4 and then i could get the item from there with first item like this here first item would be this but it's not weekend title it would be the movie title movie title note equal to this and I'm going to get the first item and then I'm going to echo this first item echo I'm going to echo first item node value and let's see if this would work php index.php file it has worked perfectly fine Doctor Strange, Downton Abbey, the bad guy this was one solution I could add them in an array, an array of movies, movie titles equals to this. And then I would add it to the movie titles. I would also prefer to trim this white spaces. So I'm going to run this through this trim. And then at the end, I can print our the movie list. Let's see if it's working. Perfect, everything has worked. It has also removed these white spaces that I had. This is one solution to do it with this path, but there is another solution. With this, I am querying the dome like 10 times. There would be another solution to query it once, and that would be if we go to our browser. And if I inspect the element like this, I can see that there each column has this title column. So I can change my query to get these columns that have title column and then get the value from there. So let's see if we can do that as well. Let's go back and let's go to this file. This was one solution. Let's go through the next solution. The next solution would be XPath query, but I want to change my query to get those. And in order to get that, we can copy this part and instead of ID I want the ones with the class of what was the class the class I think was title column let me check that again yes title column let me copy that so I wouldn't have any typos let's go back to the code and 
let's have it in our query now it's going to return a list of data and i can go through every one of them with for each let's first store it in a variable movies nodes equals to this for each movies nodes movie nodes would be better name movie nodes as movie node now it's going to go through each node so we don't need to call this function item we can specify the node value so i can get echo and i want to trim it because i'm sure there are so many spaces uh, trim the movie node node value so let's see if this works as well let's see it has worked perfectly fine i got all the data perfect i can again store them in a array movie title would be this and then at the end i can print movie titles let's run the code again perfect i can also echo the title echo title plus php end of line and let's see now uh, i can see that weekend of may 20 dr strange downtown abbey the bad guy sonic and the northman perfect we got the title we got the data we needed super easy with less than 10 lines of code we could easily crowd the data from imdb's box office this is very powerful and the sky is the limit really we can crowd any website and get their data and in our course we have tried both of them we have tried querying like a loop every time like 10 times querying the data or query it once and then go through the data both of them are perfectly fine as long as we get the last item if we had a lot of data for example if we had like a million rows then we had to choose which one would be faster but for now both of them are working this is the end of this project let's continue learning php and go to the next topic